Good morning. Good morning. Hello, hello, it is Monday, it is 1026, and we're gonna go stalk my route. Okay, all right. Went to Walmart, got my nails done. So that's what we're doing. I have to get gas today, and I am scared. The 7-Eleven by my house is holding strong at $3.99 a gallon, um, but driving to Walmart, I saw some gas prices at like $4.20, which I know, there he is. Boom. I got him in my sight. Got him in my sight. He's right there. I'm not going to stop and talk to him because he's probably like, what the hell's wrong with her? You know, it's important, okay? I want to know what I'm looking at tomorrow. Seems to be running a little slow today. Yep, that's my truck. But he's, uh, I'm not stopping. He's in the truck. We're not going to stop. We're just going to roll on by. It is nice living so close to my route. Like if there was an emergency and I had to go home, I could. Anyway, back to the gas. I know that there are some people um, that the gas prices are like $5, $6, I get it. I, ugh, $4. When I moved, when I moved here in 1996, I remember filling up my gas, my car, and it was 96 cents a gallon. I mean, of course, that was like 300 years ago. I get it, but still. Uh, we're going home. I had to turn on my massive air conditioner that sounds like a jet, because it was hot yesterday and the apartment got hot. It got hot in there. Um, it's a little warm today. At the high, it's gonna be 80, and then tomorrow it's gonna be 50. It's fine, summer's coming, the heat is coming, it's on the way. I cannot escape it. I can't escape it. I need to buy I need to buy a gallon of baby powder and um, deodorant to slather on my body. This is the road that the speed limit is 35 miles an hour um, and people go like a thousand. I keep it steady at like 38 almost 40. I'm a slow driver. I drive like grandma. I definitely do and I don't care. I think I might take Benson to the beach today. I know. I haven't heard anything. Eddie says, if you haven't heard anything, then cool. <laughs> but my overactive mind and the way that I think, it's not cool. And I said, my mind, oh God, my mind is just, it goes a I can make myself anxious out of nothing. But anyway, you haven't heard anything, so. When I take Benson outside, um, getting from my apartment over to the street, I feel like a criminal. Like, I'm like, who's watching me? Are they gonna say my dog's being mean? Or are they gonna say he's attacking a squirrel? You know, like, so I try to shuffle him from the apartment to the street like a freaking criminal. Sometimes I wish my brain wasn't like so, and I wish like I could think like Eddie. Not that he doesn't care about anything, but he just, he says he doesn't worry about things that he can't control in general, not just talking about Benson or anything. Just like he just doesn't, he says it just takes up too much space in your head to just worry and worry and worry, you know, and I get it. It does, but my brain's got a lot of space for it. <laughs> I wish it didn't. I'm not one of those people. I, I, I can, I can just think up something and worry myself and just make it up. Sometimes I can just think up scenarios that have never happened or things that could possibly happen. Like, oh, this could happen. Like what would happen if this happened? You know what I mean? Like it's ridiculous. I get it. I don't know why I'm like that. John, my youngest son, I've noticed he's like that. He's like me. And it does come across annoying <laughs> because um, it does. But then I'm like, I have to remember, we have the same kind of an anxious anxiety going on. Like, I can't get mad at him 
for asking me something a thousand times or making sure something's going the way it's supposed to go a thousand times because he thinks the way that I do. Anyway, we're home. I stalked my coworker. He's on the route. Thank you. Uh, we're going to go inside and I don't know what we're going to do because I cleaned my house because I'm like, <laughs> and then the last like week I leave the house clean in general, whatever. But the last week I've been really like cleaning my house and tidying it up and everything. Cause I'm like, well, what if the landlady wants to come over and meet Benson, which she should, you know, and I don't want to. I want, when she comes over, to see that our house is clean. You know what I mean? So, I've been like, oh, Eddie's sick of me. Um, but my house is clean, so. Anyway, all right, we're going to go inside and um, go from there. It's 1230. I've got Benson. We're going to the park. I've just sat at my kitchen table for like 45 minutes, scrolling through TikTok, listening to the wind. It's nice outside. It's It's not hot. It feels good. It's breezy. So I said, you know what? Get in the car. We're going to the park. I've never taken him to a park. This is not a dog park. It's just a park. So we're going to go. I've stolen Maddie's little book bag because I don't have a fanny pack, you know, to carry dog bags and poop bags, things like that. So anyway, um, so we just got in the car. And we're going to go. It's beautiful outside right now. And I figured, you know what? We're going to the park. So here we go. Vincent is smelling all kinds of different smells over here. And he does not know what to do. Okay, I've been home for quite a while. It's 4.42. I've been home for quite a while. It's 4.42. I've done the laundry. I fell asleep on the bed. Maddie has walked down to their BFF's house. I know you can hear my air conditioner raging in the background. I just walked down to get the rest of the laundry. And you know how much the gas is? This morning when I left to get my nails done, the gas was $3.99. And I said, you know, I should probably get on over there. But I didn't do it. And guess how much it is now? Because I can see it from where I live. $4.29. So. That's ridiculous. What the hell? Why? Can somebody please? And I know I don't respond in the comments a lot. I, I get it. But I read them. But why? Why is it so? I get I mean, the Russia, I understand. But I, I, I do understand. But I don't understand. Are they the only ones that we can get the gas from? Is that like what's happening here? What is this? This is not right. Why would you raise the price? People in the, it's just like, you know what I've always thought? And this may seem crazy to some people. I've always felt like, as a, as a human being trying to survive and live, and survive, that you should have water, running water, and you should not have to pay for it. That's what I feel like that, because... Do you need electricity? I mean, it's nice, but really you don't. You could get on without it. But you need water to survive as a human being. So I've always felt like, you know, why, why can't we not have water for free as humans to survive? I know that's not, I'm just saying that's another thing. I'm just asking, I, you know, it's never gonna be possible. Anyway, um, that is all. I'm gonna go fold the clothes. Family time! We're cooking dinner, making some rice pilaf, and I've got a giant piece of salmon, and then some steak. I even got a lemon to squeeze on it, fancy. So that's what I'm doing right now. I got my stove going, so it's extra warm in here right now. You can hear the jet engine going. Table is ready to go. Benson is patiently waiting. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to check in. I'm probably going to end the vlog pretty soon because I think I've got a lot on this vlog already. There's XO sitting in the corner playing a game. I'm going to go finish dinner with XO and I like my nails. This is always the color that I get. 
usually, nine times out of ten. And the guy, my nail guy knows it. He knows this is what I'm gonna get. Anyway, um, I will check back in to say goodbye. What's on here? Oh, that's much better. All right, guys, it is 9.41. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog. The last few clips, my phone had some gunk on it. So I feel like I'm a little more clearer right now. Anyway, 9.41, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog. I'm getting everything plugged in. Lunch is ready. Massive jet engine. I'm gonna turn it off. Because tomorrow it's supposed to be 50. Today was 80. It was a little warm. XO should be in the bed. Get out. Go to bed. Good night. Anyway, I'm going to go. I hope you've had a good day. Tomorrow is Tuesday. I'm fine. And hopefully, hopefully the mail will not be bad. I will let you know. But for right now, I'm going to go. I will talk to you tomorrow. As always, I will vlog again tomorrow. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.